Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan and welcome to my channel if you're new. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. The disclaimers are obvious, like this is just my personal opinion. Sorry for the echo and yeah, this is just what I think sucks at UCLA. I'm a second year political science major, so I feel like I've been around enough time to criticize. Okay. Number one is housing. UCLA probably has the worst housing out of all the schools. And we don't have kitchens in our rooms. Our rooms are literally this big. Um, most of the freshmen get triples. Most of the second years get triples because there's a housing shortage, but they still continue to admit so many, so many, so many students. Also, housing is freaking expensive. I mean, some people don't like that a meal plan is mandatory with your housing, but I actually like that because I can't cook. The housing just sucks and access to housing sucks. Like. It's like, I will get into this later, but because so many people go to UCLA, like, you're just always at the bottom of the totem pole for, like, in line for everything. Like, choosing housing, you can choose to, you can choose to live somewhere, pick your top 12. Like, how can you pick a top 12? And you'll get one of the 12, but at the end of the day, like, it doesn't even matter because it's just, housing sucks. Next, number two is the enrollment process. Uh, I'm saying, like, enrolling into classes. It sucks. You get an enrollment pass that's allegedly random. There's so many conspiracy theories like, oh, if you rate your professor, you're going to get a better enrollment. Or, oh, if you <coughs> have this many credits. I mean, okay, it is kind of a window of credits, but even in that window, you can still get a bad enrollment time. And I'm not going to wait because my enrollment time has always been pretty average, pretty good. But some people, like people who have way more credits than me, they have like enrollment that's super late. And that kind of messes you up because if you can't enroll in a class you need because by the time it's your enrollment pass, the class is full, you get stuck. You just get, you literally get stuck. Like right now, I can't even um, declare, formally declare my major, even though I know it's going to be political science. I can't formally declare it because I have um, a lower div left. And I can't enroll in the lower div. I was, if you watch my vlogs, I was enrolled, I was waitlisted on this class, and the professor ended up just dropping me. And just because the class was full. So it's like, yeah, it kind of sucks and like wait, it's literally the Hunger Games. It's literally like buying Coachella tickets. If you ever bought Coachella tickets, it's enrollment at UCLA is worse than buying Coachella tickets. The line you're in, just the paranoia, it's just horrible. The walking. UCLA is full of freaking hills. Westwood is full of hills, LA is full of hills. And if you don't like walking up hills, I don't know what you're gonna do. I didn't even know there were that many hills because basically when I went to tour UCLA, um, I left the tour group and I just did my own thing and so I didn't know the classes were that far away and all that So that's kind of my fault, but still the hills are crazy Like first of all the place where the house all the housing is is called the hill But that's not even the worst hill like it's just so many hills My heart goes out to people that are doing that that are injured that are permanently like in wheelchairs because I don't know how they're going up these hills It's pretty hard. The lines suck. There's a line for everything. There's always a line for food and I just don't like lines, so there's always a line to get into places, so that sucks because so many people go there. And yeah, you can say I already knew a lot of people were going to go there before this, but I just thought they would be more efficient. Like, it's crazy how many lines, especially the first three weeks of school. See, that's a long, that's a long time. First three weeks of school, I just avoid a dining hall because there's just so many people in there. Like, I can't even eat in peace. I, like, I shouldn't have to wait in line for 15 minutes to get food like i'm on a time crunch being big i mean yeah it's a big school and i feel like for me right now i've kind of like adjusted i have my little friend group so it doesn't seem as big like i don't feel as like invisible you can definitely find your own community to make it smaller but ucla is huge like it, it is freaking huge and so i'm talking like people wise and like literally big so that's a downer interpret that yourself but to me that sucks um the counselors i'm sorry but the counselors suck like you really are basically your own counselor you basically have to tell the counselor what to do because they don't know all they're going to do is show you your dar which is your degree audit report and it's like woman i know what classes i have took taken already like i need you to tell me what to do but they really don't so the counselors pretty much suck the guidance counselors the peer like oh, no, no not the peer counselors those are my homies but i'm saying like the, the adults that you would think could help you figure your life out like i'm sorry but they suck also caps which is um i really don't even know what caps stand for but it's basically like um you know therapists and therapy and you know stuff for your mental health caps <laughs> caps 
I've never even used caps, but from what I've heard, like I don't even think I want to use it because I just heard it takes like a month for you to like get an appointment. So let's say someone puts like, oh, um, they're going through something super severe. How are you going to tell them that their mental health needs to wait a month before you get, they can talk to someone? Like, I'm sorry, but that's ridiculous. And it's because of a lack of resources, which we need to do a better job of, but mental health is something that needs to be primary. Like, it's urgent. You can't just have people wait a month for a um appointment and that says something that it's that booked up you know there's that you know it's like such a prominent issue um so yeah caps needs to get it together okay the tuition cost i am an out-of-state student it cost me like sixty thousand dollars to go to ucla plus housing which was like twenty thousand dollars that is ridiculous especially when in-state is like half that come on now the cost of everything honestly sucks i'm trying to think if there's anything that has a good bargain at ucla and Honestly, my, if you're trying to save some money, join these clubs because some people out here managing these clubs, they're going to UCLA for free just because they're doing that. Like, it's crazy. And for a while, I was considering like, dang, maybe I should just be in the club and be all fake about it so I can get free tuition. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have that work, I think. Um, okay. The cost of off-campus housing is crazy too. Like, the cost everywhere is crazy. Off-campus, these apartments are like $4,000, uh, starting at $4,000 a month. And so that's why people are sharing rooms. People, are, there's three people in a bedroom in an apartment because it's like they can't afford to pay four thousand dollars by themselves or just two people. You can't. I can't afford to pay two thousand dollars a month just on a, an apartment. Like that's crazy, and not including food. So it's like it's just an expensive area. Ugh. Okay, all these are generalizations. Um, and it's not really that diverse. Even it's crazy that UCLA is like we're like top one or two in diversity, and that's. That's sad. Like, I feel sorry for people who don't even go to UCLA because we have like two black people and that's just sad. Like, that's not diverse. The lecture halls are huge, especially if you're political science. Like, literally my average class is like 100 to sometimes, I think I had one class that was like 300 people in it. Like, it was crazy. So that's a downside for a lot of people, but I like that because I like being invisible like i like the professor not knowing me i like being able to miss class for a week and no one be like dang where have you been like no i like it but that sucks for a lot of people the professors really do not care <laughs> they do not care like really they do not care they are just like they are there to get their check and they are there to get i don't know if they're tenure i don't know what is up but they really just don't care and it's like wow wow at the same time like i probably would be that way too if i was that established but it's just like sometimes we'll be struggling out here okay and you can't just post stuff if we have a test in two weeks you can't just you can't just teach us all this material to the day before the test and expect us to look you know like it's just like no like it's not adding up and they will just do what they want to do and it's like sometimes people just shouldn't be teachers if you're not going to be a considerate person like i feel like there's a certain personality to teach like whatever instructions are giving these people to be able to teach the UCLA teachers, I believe some of the STEM teachers that class average is like a 40%. And I'm like, so at what point do you stop blaming the student if the whole class is doing bad? Like, come on now. So yeah, people are just messy. There's a lot of just like crab in a barrel mentality. Like, um, I just know when I was like starting campus curls at UCLA, like you'd be surprised what people were putting me through just to start a club that was really just about happiness, natural hair, and community service, and all that good stuff. Like, you would think I'm starting a freaking, you know, a, a revolution. I have the, the, like, like, even though I am for the revolution, but I'm saying, like, you would think I was really, like, doing some problematic, something problematic. The, um, like, the trouble people were putting me through. And that's just, I think, I don't know if that comes from jealousy or it just comes from people, just comes from people just having crap in a barrel of competitive mentality when really we should be a community and, like, bringing people together. The security sucks at UCLA. Like, literally, I, um, I heard that there was, like, a homeless person living in a residence hall for weeks and they just, you know, they found him after weeks of being there. Like, we need, we need better security. Come on now. Like, that, thank goodness it was just an innocent homeless guy, but imagine if it was, you know, like, um, an intruder with intentions to harm people. Like, we don't have, you can bring him over, I guess, we don't have those strict policies. Like, some places you have to sign guests in or, like, if you have an overnight guest, you have to, like, give their ID. Like, UCLA, literally anyone can just walk up in there. And walk up in there, there's no type of security. There's like access control, which is like, 
it's some build it's not even at every building and it's literally just kids working there like they're not armed with anything so really if someone went up in there and was big enough they could just scare access control away so i just feel like we need better security at ucla yeah knock on wood nothing happens but i'm saying if it does it could really go down because we have no we have literally barely any security the discrimination policy oh yeah the discrimination policy because i've had to report um incidents of racism and stuff and it's really like nothing gets done about it you know it's kind of like we're just brushing off the whole free speech or oh you don't know, like the proof as i don't know it's just like i feel like we need a better policy of like discrimination and like really holding these racist people accountable next oh the frat parties they suck they suck i feel sorry for freshmen because i feel like they think that that that's all UCLA has to offer especially like my first two weeks I was like dang this is gonna be a long four years but um words of encouragement gets better you know find stuff off campus find just fun cool people and not people that just do the same thing every Thursday Saturday night yeah um the police do too much in Westwood and I think it's because it's such a nice area like they get bored but literally I got pulled over by the police for riding my scooter or people get tickets for wearing helmets for, I'm sorry, they get tickets for not wearing helmets. And it's like, don't you have anything better to do? Like, can't you just go patrol somewhere else? Like, can you just leave us alone? Like, the police do too much. They always shut down parties before they even happen. They are just like out there trying. And it's like, this is a college town. Like, you should be trying to help us be good people in life. Like, why would you want to ruin someone's life like that, giving them a ticket for, you know, doing like, I know people who have gotten like random tickets for like, I guess like alcohol position or anything like that. And it's like, you are a police officer for a university like why 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 are you doing that to someone's life like why are you making someone go to court why are you putting that on someone's record can't you just do something else so it's like yeah the police around here do way too much and it's like they're never there when you need them like the buildings at ucla make no sense like one building i think it's like math and sciences building the first floor is literally the fifth floor come on now that is just setting people up to get lost so that's my little rant on that i mean you can't just like know i don't know i don't even know how you can learn your way around you just have to get lost and you'll find your way but like the buildings make no sense and that sucks <laughs> our football team sorry y'all um and like getting the news like stuff severe things will happen in ucla and we will not hear about it like people who are getting like robbed i did not i didn't even know about some of the stuff people are telling me about like i don't even know and this is a like, good and bad news like um kilo he's just throwing a concert or ASAP Rocky is going to be at school and it's like no one told me like how am I supposed to know this I just feel like we need a better mode of communication because I know we have Bruin alerts and stuff but for a while for my whole first year I was not getting not one Bruin alert they were going to my mom in Washington DC so I have purple on my hands I just tried to like dye my hair but it's like what is my mom going to do in DC when there's a wildfire here yeah, that's kind of the end of my rant. Wow, I shouldn't have, I'm like so negative so early in the morning. But, um, and I just want to say, like, I'm not like just a complaining Nancy. Like, I just wanted to make this video because I get a lot of questions about UCLA and I'm trying to like eventually answer all those questions. So here are like some of the downsides to going to UCLA. Now, obviously I still go to the school. I didn't choose to transfer it. So I like some things about it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like a lot of things about it, but there are like downsides to every good side. But I feel like, um, I'm gonna be fine here like it's totally fine and it's way better than other facilities I've visited so and it's crazy that we're number one like we're the number one public school I'm like geez if we're number one like whoo y'all must be going through it I don't know because I don't even feel like we're that great but I guess we are I don't know maybe I'm just privileged and not um, seeing anything good in a way I don't know I'm seeing the pros but you guys get what I'm saying I'm rambling but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Continue to ask me questions about UCLA and more video suggestions. And eventually I'll get two ants. But yeah, I gotta go. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Right here. If it's not right here, it'll be right here. If it's not right there, it'll be right there. Or right there. But yeah, peace out. Yeah. Yeah.